Okay, so recently I've been experimenting with Ender Pro Cannons, and as you can see, I came up with this design. Uh, so how it works, you just have to throw an Ender Pearl right at the edge, so it doesn't touch any TNT. Wow, it's really close to the edge. Okay, and then you have to click the button. Oh, you have to click the button, and after it explodes, you can, as you can see, the Ender Pearl goes way far off, uh, let's see where it lands, all the way over here. It's so around 130 blocks, which isn't that far compared to other TNT cannons, but the thing with my design is that it's like, you can build more and more of it up. So let's tell you how to build it first. So first you put down the soul sand to get bubble columns. And then use any unexplodable, uh, Block. I use obsidian. You can use netherite, even though that's like, why would you use netherite? Uh, you don't have to use it for the whole entire pillar. Just use it for the top part so it doesn't explode. And then put signs so the thing doesn't uh, so it doesn't overflow. Okay, and then afterwards you just have to. Build it up at least like around six to seven blocks so it doesn't just hit the soul sand when you teleport it. Uh, let's build it up really high so I'll show you how uh, we can make this very overpowered. And the thing is that it's not really that hard to build, you just need a bubble column and some TNT to explode the or to propel the ender pearl. So if we, pl if we place this, if it would play, okay, there. Okay, now we can go all the way up here, and we have to fill it up with water. Hopefully that. Oh. Okay, so after we fill it up with water, we can make our next, uh, our actual propulsion mechanic, which is very simple. You just have to do this, and then put another water, and then you can make these uh, dispensers right here, or you can make it even higher. So if you want two layers of dispensers, make it two high, three layers, three high, and like, like on and on. Obviously put water so it doesn't explode the dispensers. Okay, now that you added the dispensers, you have to put a block over all of them so it doesn't float up. And, oh yeah, you also have to add soul sand at the bottom. But now after you're done, add soul sand, uh, soul sand at the bottom of the dispensers, and now you can you can see, look, what is that, nine dispensers, and then, and then afterwards you just had to add the circuitry. Okay, so this is my final design. As you can see, I put three layers of dispensers instead of two for that one. Uh, and hopefully it will launch the end of world much further, so let's test it out. And... Off the goes, and hopefully it'll land somewhere. Let's just see where it land. Wow, this it's gone. Whoa, okay, okay. So let's see. So like two hundred eighty three, around three hundred blocks for just three. So it went from like what a hundred to three hundred. I don't know if it's actually exponential, but it probably might be. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little project. Uh. And I guess I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye.